I'm awake once more. Last time uh, we went to the quantum moon and then I left the quantum moon with my jetpack and just meditated until the end of the world. And when I woke up <laughs> in a new timeline or at the start of the existing time loop, uh, I was pretty calm, I think. So we looked at the ship's log last time. I just want to make sure I have a plan. And I think my plan is the white hole station. Because there is more to explore. Can I not? Yeah, there it is. HUD thinged. And let's get over there. Explore everything there is to explore at the White Hole Station. Hopefully, my ultimate goal is to get to the Ash Twin Project. And um, look at Scout Probe number 9,318,000 something, something like that. All right, looks like it's on the other side of the sun, so how about we not crash into the sun there? Uh, if I autopilot, it'll probably take me right into the sun. Oh, we gotta lock onto it still, right? Can't lock onto it, huh? Not quite. There's that sun station. I would love to be able to do it. The interloper is also um, probably something we're gonna do this episode. You might even have known that we're going to do that because of the title and or thumbnail. Oh, I just can't. I can't lock onto it or anything, huh? I didn't realize that. All right, and we're going to go way past it because I was expecting to be able to lock onto it. But that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. I like being able to lock onto things. It tells you, um, okay, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Didn't particularly get super close to it. Oh, I love how it changes the, um, I don't know, the light around it. Oh my gosh, this is awful. I really need, I guess I should have just gone to Brittle Hollow. I wasn't even thinking of that. But without being able to lock onto it, it's like, it's not great, is it? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, it's. Trippy. Okay, I think this is far enough as long as we can lock onto something like that. There it is. And now I can match velocity. Okay. Whew. That matching of velocity. I am dependent on that. <laughs> okay, and I think I want to fly around this thing and just get a bit of a closer look at it. Because I thought I went in the only entrance and kind of explored everything there was to explore about it. One thing I maybe haven't done is I haven't... Um, teleported or um what do you call it warped i haven't warped to brittle hollow and then uh warped back also i wonder if there's something to explore with this um what appears to be like an angler fish thing so i guess the white hole hmm got close to the dark bramble or something not really sure all right well flying around I don't really see anything super interesting. Something else I could do is spin it and then come on out and look at it. Is there anything on that big jaw there? I'm getting really good lighting on this right now. The sun is in a really good position, I think. When I've gone here before, it's been super dark. Obviously, I know my gamma's all the way up, but um, I wonder how much of that is like, people think it's just cheating. Uh, but now, see? Oh, it's the... um. It's the ship light. Ah, we haven't been here with a ship yet. I see. All right. Uh, are there two entrances, actually? Because I thought there was an entrance close to the... Um, close to the jaw on the other side. Interesting. There are two entrances. Did I always know that? Is there two exits as well? Yeah, I guess there's, yeah, there's just always two exits. All right, so what am I missing here? Um, something with this, that's this warp platform. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, this warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. I knew that. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window Then the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. You look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. 
I must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. And do I need to get a really good look at this? Uh, nothing to do there. I was. It's interesting because it's pointing that way. I guess it's. There's no way to. I was wondering if there's a way to rotate that so the arrows point up. But oh, that probably shows when I um spin it. Uh, when I spin it, it'll probably. Why, why did I think that was the wrong way to go? I don't know. Ember twin projection stone. Also, I wonder. We've already done that ember twin projection stone. And the gravity crystal. I wonder if more to explore here is how to spin this thing a little better. All right, well, let's spin it and then go look at the... Do this thing here. Yes, so that'll tell us where we are in relationship to Brittle Hollow. And I don't... I guess I do want to warp there. Um, let's take the projection stone with us because I think there is a place on Brittle Hollow to do it. So we'll take the projection stone, check it out on Brittle Hollow, and then warp back here, which I think is the thing we haven't done. So I think when we warp back here, my ship log will be like, ah, yes, now you can warp to, uh, you can warp back. And the departure time takes us, uh, yeah, sorry, the departure time is before the arrival time. That was a fireball. Uh, before the arrival time, which is when they discovered that they could go back in time. And yeah, it's charged so we can activate the return warp. Uh, before we do that, let's check out um, this projection stone because I think there's the hanging city, which we can't get to. Uh, I think there's a place to put this here. That's my memory at least. Thinking that, oh yeah, we were supposed to do this. Ah, that's the white hole and the black hole. And this says, just warped here. Yep, the design worked on the white hole station. Don't know how close it is to the original design. I knew we could do it. I've already read this, that's why I'm not really focusing too hard. Yeah, and then <laughs> they violate causality. Because uh, it takes you back in time. And... There's no problem. They've, they've discovered that there's no problem with it. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. Here's where we can put the Ash Twin thing. And can we read about it? Which we've already done, I think. Yes, we've already done this. Oh, the implications are absurd. We're going back in time. Yes, 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 yes. The High Energy Lab. We've been there before. The result is the same. It always takes you back in time. The interval is incredibly minuscule. Oh, 100,000th of a second. I didn't really, I didn't really register. I read it, but I didn't remember it at least. Uh, 100,000th of a second. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking it's like, the numbers are roughly like 300.00001. And then they're off by that last digit. So I think those are maybe minutes. Hmm, I don't know. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Uh, that's something that I maybe noted last time, but so their beliefs about the nature of time are not fundamentally different from ours, it seems like. Um, or at least they weren't <laughs> back when they crashed here. All right, let's check the... Oh, the ship log was updated. Did I just miss that? Because I knew I read it. Hold on. It was that last one, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, because I totally read this before. Did I just miss one of these? That's so frustrating for you guys if you thought that was important. I think I pretty much already knew that information, though, uh, from other parts. And then the Ember Twin. Yes, we've been here before. And this... So, like, this isn't the, um... Oh, wait. This... No, that's a projected pool, not a warp platform. And this is the High Energy Lab. Yeah. Okay. So, nothing super interesting. Let's get to... We can't pick up the writing staff now that we know what it is. No. <laughs> that's how they write. 
but unfortunately it does us no good. All right, well, let's warp back to the White Hole Station. Uh, how do I, how do I best get there? Uh, where am I? <laughs> where am I? No, I've been here before though, right? What's up here? I think this is just like writing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've been here. I've read this before. Let's just see if it's pertinent. Has anyone observed the phantom moon? Yes, I've read that several times, I think. Okay, there's that charged warp platform. Let's get back to the White Hole Station. And I guess read the ship's log. Maybe that was all we needed at the White Hole Station. Darn it. And we warped. Woo. All right, the ship's still pretty close by. Let's get to it. I think, I think I'm done at the White Hole Station. Now, there is some interesting stuff around here. Um, Come on. Through, through, there it is. Like all this stuff, I think is chunks from Brittle Hollow maybe? Or, I don't actually know. And this this jaw is super creepy. Ooh, super creepy. Well, let's go see if we've discovered everything there is to discover at the White Hole Station. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of cheesing the ship log a little bit, but at this stage of the game, I. I think that's probably what I'm supposed to do, because I'm kind of, to be honest, kind of lost. All right, I still got the Ember Projection Stone, too. Um, White Hole Station. Yes, that was it. That was it. We're done. Uh, the Nomai noticed something strange. Warped objects appear to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they department, departed the White Hole Station. That seemed to be new, because it, the text scrolled, but I already, I definitely knew that. All right, and then I didn't read that it was roughly 100,000th of a second. I wonder actually if I'm so fast at reading the, the writing that I read it and uh, didn't notice it. Okay. It might have been, I might have been short on time, like if uh, I was hearing that music. All righty then. Well, that was uh, unhelpful. Let's go to the interloper. Um... Is that going to be on the interloper, or is that going to be on the uh, the twins, where the gravity cannon is? Not sure. Looks like it is the interloper. Cool. That's good, because I've never actually been there. Um, yeah, that's interesting. It's taking me to the uh, shuttle on the interloper, because I've been to the shuttle uh, when I recalled it to the gravity cannon. Wait, I'm not going to crash into the interloper, am I? No, I'm locked onto the interloper. I was thinking maybe the shuttle was on the other side of the interloper and I was locked onto it. But uh, that's not the case, is it? Okay, well, let's fly around here. Um, I've been on the interloper once, and I jumped off of it, and then I think we got into the uh, gravity pull of... Here we go. Um, like, Giant's Deep or something, and, like, I jumped off of it and then just, like... <laughs> went crazy this is cool all right yeah i didn't go on this side i didn't go on this side of the interloper this is sweet looking all right and i'm not going to ah! <laughs> i don't actually know i feel like the physics are wonky uh around the interloper based on the last time i was here all right i'm not going to recall it that's not what i want to do but i do want to read that ship oh that's my shuttle i thought that was their shuttle Okay, that's their shuttle. How do I get there, though? Oh, it's like, tra oh, it's in ice. I'm not gonna be able to look at their ship block. Okay. Okay. Um, but I forget. I kinda need to go to my ship's log, I think, and just read. I thought I was gonna be able to look in the, um, uh, look in the writings of, um, who is it? Clary, maybe. Darn it, there's more to explore, so we do need to go to this gravity cannon, I think. Um, so they descended below the interloper's surface. How do we get there? Okay, a fissure in the ice on the sunward side. All right, very good, that's what I needed to know. And I guess I'll put down this projection stone <laughs> just on the interloper there. 
And flashlight, that's what I needed. All right, how do I get to the sunward side without flying off of this thing? Uh, there we go, the sunward side. Always look on the sunward side of ice. The ice is melting, cool. So this is where the fissure is gonna be because the ice is melting away from it. Am I getting hot? Oh, are we in the sun? Oh my gosh. Is this a way to get to the sun station? That was so cool how close we were. Oh, awesome. Wow, that was the perfect time to get on the interloper. Okay, so I remember one time I speculated that maybe it crashes into the sun because um, it looks like it goes to the sun, but it just gets close to the sun, don't it? All right. Fisher? Ah, uh, maybe we need to get closer. The ice is rising. Uh, the ice is staying the same. We're, we're so close to the sun that, like, even if, you know, even if I was supposed to go down here right when it passed the sun, like, it would instantly fill up with ice. Darn it. Oh, all right. Am I going to fly off again if I do this? No. I was worried. I, was, I wasn't doing this because I was worried I was going to fly off, but I think we're okay. All right. It's from above. From above. This is helpful. This is help. This looks like the deepest part of the fissure, maybe. Hmm. Huh. 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 Maybe I do have to go close to the sun. That was cool. There was a bit of an eclipse there. Maybe I need to get my ship and look a little. Ooh, is that a tiny fissure? Mm, can't get there though. Uh, all right, I'm missing it. Oh, my ship's, my ship's gone. Darn it. You see, it's things like that. Like it should be in the exact same orbit as the interloper. I don't know why it would be. Well, I guess there are subsurface energy readings. Maybe, maybe this is powered be interesting all right come on it's got to be got to be in this fissure uh, so one way to get yourself through a maze is to like put your hand on one side of the wall and just follow it around that actually doesn't work with all mazes because you can get in a loop and then miss part of the other um, maze but in this case I think <laughs> I think I've totally explored this maze all there is to explore it's a very simple maze oh we're critical um, we'll just meditate here until the end of the world. Darn it all. Alright, how do I get to the fissure on the sunward side? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. And what happens if I look from afar? It's got to be that fissure. Does that mean I'm out of fuel? No, I don't know what that meant. Wait, is that fissure? Wait. It looked different. <laughs> it looked different. Yeah, using oxygen as propellant. <laughs> no, this is the same one, isn't it? Right? Or is it different? I don't know. Uh, this is the same one. All right. Oh, wait, I can do that. <laughs> And then I'll know if I'm going in circles. All right, we'll meditate. I won't let my guy run out of air. So zen. <laughs> Back to the interloper. Darn it, that's really frustrating that I wasted all your time. Sorry guys. Mm. It's also a little frustrating the white hole station didn't give me any new information. I was really hoping to learn how to warp to the Ash Twin project. Mm. Something I, like if I don't discover anything useful at the interloper, I definitely need to go back to the stranger. I've kind of figured out that that's the DLC because it's not been connected really with anything. Like we haven't learned anything more about this mysterious third race. It would be pretty funny if it's just the eye of the world and like I'm willfully ignoring it, but I think we're okay. <laughs> um, I really want to stay focused and uh, find the eye of the world, find the Ashburn Project, figure out why this time loop is happening. 
Anyways, uh, if the interloper doesn't help with that, uh, I guess my plan is to go back to the Ash Twin early on. Um, is that on the other side of the sun? I think it is. Uh, sorry, Ash Twin early on and um, kind of like ride the sand down to the sun warp station and see if I can use the sand to get to the, um, I'm not gonna, oops, oops, sorry, I bumped my mic there, I might have been allowed. Bump, probably not though. And it's still on, right? Yeah, it's still on. Because okay. <laughs> I bumped the cord at the bottom and, you know, sometimes cords can be finicky. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, ride the sand down and hopefully use that to get over the little spikes. So that's kind of my, I don't know, backup plan, I guess, if I can't find any other way into the Ashton project. But other than that, there was more at the Sunless City to explore, but I kind of suspect... Oh my... Why? Why? <laughs> Autopilot. <laughs> I got my suit on. Come on. Help, help, help a brother out. I guess I was locked onto the um, shuttle on the other side. That's kind of what I was... Wondering if I was gonna do at the White Hole Station or something. Or early earlier this episode in any case. But I thought I figured out that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> right. Is everything fixed? I thought it was like a whole bunch of stuff wrong with this bad boy. Alright, it doesn't even matter. I'm probably not getting back in this ship. Alright, so how do I get in this sunward side fissure? They went down here. I know they did. Alright, I pretty much... Well, there's this ship's there, so I can use that. Oh, I should use my ship. Especially since apparently... Um, whew, apparently the ship just flies away from the interloper for no reason. I wonder if it's because I got close to the sun and like... Sometimes uh, close orbits can be... Oh, and I also need to remember to do uh, things like that and use the scout. Um, that was unhelpful. All right, so this is the fissure that I've explored pretty well. The only other thing I think to do is go there when the sun, when we're close to the sun. Uh, which, yeah, come to think of it, that's probably exactly what we do. I'm not super enthused about that because it looked like the ice came back really quickly. <laughs> so, but that's like the only fissure on the sunward side. All these other things are giant lakes. All right, so I'll just stand there. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, of course I understand. No, and now I missed it, now I missed it. No, no, what? Ah. Ah, it's yeah it's the sun the sun messes with it I'm gonna actually um, meditate until the next loop and just try that again so I have to get there quickly which is really interesting I guess it that was the second oh my gosh sorry I went to the white hole station I dinked around there for like 10 minutes I came back went to the interloper and then the interloper went around the sun, like close to the sun. Whereas this time I just made a beeline for the interloper and then almost immediately it went close to the sun. Is it in a different position in the sky when I start? Is this something that is like so obvious to everyone? The planets and the interloper are in different positions every time I restart? Cause I, I feel like, uh, I feel like I know there's a planet right there. Giant's Deep is right there. Oh, well, I guess it's always in the same position. We know that because of the, um... Uh, how do I know that? Uh, oh, yeah, because the orbital probe cannon that we see. But then, like, the Ash Twin and the Ember Twin, obviously I'm rolled differently, but, like, that's 
how it's been, right? The Ash Twin goes in front of the sun, the Interloper is kind of behind the sun. Anyways. So, I guess... I guess what I'm discovering, I think, is that... Uh, the Interloper does two passes around the sun. So, like, it did a pass around the sun when I was at the White Hole Station, and then did another pass around the sun when I left the White Hole Station. So the orbit's much smaller than I would have expected. Because, right, if I... Oh, yeah. Am I going to crash into it again? <laughs> I think I am. Stop. Stop. Just got to miss it. I got to miss it. Or I could hit it. No, because I like my ship. <laughs> I like my ship. Alright, now are you gonna work? Alright, and just don't accelerate like crazy, please. <laughs> Alrighty, and then I will just stand in that fissure and stare at the sun. How's that sound? Oh, the other thing is, I hit it pretty hard. Is it small enough that my ship could have changed its trajectory a little? No, surely not. Oh, Dark Bramble, I didn't realize you were passing close by. All right, let's just stand in the fissure. <laughs> Come on, roll around. All right, let's just stand in the fissure and look at the sun. Because I think this is promising, because all the ice melts away when we get close to this bad boy. I don't know why we're so far away from it though. Okay, uh, where is it? Here it is. I guess I dinked around a little, repairing the ship, doing all that stuff. Could the quantum moon have affected its position in the sky? I don't think so. What if this is the eye of the world? <laughs> it's not. I like how we're sliding weirdly. Alright, baby. Melt the ice. We're not going... Doesn't appear to be melting very much. Oh, maybe I should, like, check. There we go. Alright. And we're in! Oh, good. All right, good. So, I think we'll be okay. Yep, okay, I understand. I understand. <laughs> this isn't gonna all fill back. Oh, ghost matter, come on. Uh, where is it? There it is. I guess it was pretty... Pretty far away. Okay, not that far away. <laughs> and interesting. Well, that looks promising. How do we get past ghost matter? I wonder if something in the stranger can show us how to get past ghost matter. Oh my gosh, there's too much ghost matter. I think this kind of ruins my theory that the ghost matter is... Uh, the dead nomai, right? I don't think the ghost matter are the ghosts of the dead nomai anymore. Wow. This thing just goes on forever. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, it looks like we can, um, safely, hopefully, read these logs. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realize, the ghost matter. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Darn it, that's unhelpful. <laughs> Oh, this one doesn't have... Oh, okay. We just gotta be careful. I was expecting those blue things to have ghost matter.
Oh, okay. That's just gonna take us back there. And... Uh, doesn't seem to be a way around that ghost matter. Okay. And that was the same one as this, I think. Yeah. Okay. And there's not like a weird, weird option around here. Okay. Okay. So I think we can rule out, uh, rule out going in uh, there. These two. Um, is this where we came from? Yeah, that's where we came from. And there's ghost matter directly in there. Okay. So let's see. Those two are the ones that we've checked. Uh, what about this one? Okay, there is some ghost matter there. And this one looks promising. Oh man, yeah, that's promising. All right, there we go. There we go. Ah, and that's... That's the way up to the ghost matter. All right, we made it, I think. Okay. Let's just stay away from... What's that? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't look like we can get in there. Oh, but if only we could. It looks pretty... Whoa. That's a big ball of ghost matter, huh? And these crystals look intriguing. Okay then, uh, let's see, wait, was there, huh, hang on, I thought there was more, I thought there was more to see here, like, oh no, it's just a big, just a big thing, what about up here, oh yeah, here we go, here we go, alright, this is exciting and promising, I feel like. Is there a path down there? I'll have to come back and explore more. Okay, so then we would go to the right. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I should, I guess I'm kind of out of fuel. All right, so the right and then the left, I guess. Oof. Game is fun. All right, now don't go down there, right? Let's get in here. Whew. All right, boy. <laughs> and yeah, that's just ooh, that's a massive <laughs> place. Not that we shouldn't go in. Oh, and we're getting close to this giant ball of ghost matter, I guess. All right, continuing downward. Oh, hello. You are pie or I forget poke. I think it was poke and pie maybe. I wonder actually, oh maybe they are the ghost matter. Cuz the um blue crystals are growing out of them. So maybe there was oh boy. All right, looks like we're clear. I can jump down here. Alright. Oh, and there's no gravity here. We must be at the center of the core. Can I lock on? No, okay. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what's within the stone. Oh, this is. Aww. Yeah, I think I know what happened. Okay, before I even read it. They found the source of the ghost matter, they opened it up, and it killed them all. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times of what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. 
Hi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing this star system almost instantaneously, and the pressure is still building as the comet approaches this star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. It's all coming together for me. Um, unfortunately, it's not really helping my situation. But, uh... Wow. That's so sad. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna pause the game. Yeah, I mean, you guys already know. You, you know what I figured out. They, um... They all died when it exploded and uh, the ghost matter shot everywhere. Or maybe they didn't all die, but um, a lot of them died. Uh, and that's probably the the problem. Although it was Idea blames herself, or blames himself for what happened. Or maybe it was Idea's brother, Pi, blames himself for what happened. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, this is what interrupted the Nomai. This is why they're all dead. I was noticing this uh, nice music that is... I forget what key it's in. C minor, maybe? E, e minor? Sorry, that was awful. But <laughs> um, that's kind of like the Nomai tragedy, isn't it? Um, super sad. All right, well, it doesn't look like there's ghost matter here, which is interesting. Um, so I guess we can explore more here. Was there ghost matter above? Oh, po maybe pockets of ghost matter all around or in some of these things. Unfortunately, I'm gonna run out of fuel. Interestingly, it does seem like this launches me, the scout. <laughs> That's cool, I can launch myself with the scout. Oh, okay, well. How have I never noticed that happen before? All right, um, I kind of do want to get in here, even though I'm running out of fuel and oxygen. I can just meditate. Now, I guess this looks very different from anything we've discovered before. Do I lock onto that? I didn't realize I could lock onto that earlier. But that's just the translation thing. All right, and then how do I... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's awesome. I feel really bad for like... <laughs> desecrating his body. <laughs> All right, so that little crack is where we came from. And that's, I guess, not where we want to go. <laughs> And I guess, oh wait, there's two things. What is this? This is what I got, right? Okay, that's what I got. What's this thing? Oh, that's nothing. I don't know why that looked special to me. Okay, uh, ghost matter in there. Yeah, ghost matter in there. Ghost matter in that one. Where is there no ghost matter? I guess the way I came. There's only one way in or out. Um. Oh. I know that sound. Is that really 22 minutes? <laughs> Farewell, cruel work. Wait, the music's not starting. What was that? Oh, that was us getting close to the sun. Okay. All right. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure I can't go in one of these holes. I wouldn't want to miss something. Seems like I can go part way down here, but not really, huh? Okay. Um, sorry I'm turning all around. I'm pretty sure. Wait, where are we? Okay. 
All right, one, two. Sorry. The floating is really, oh, okay, we're dead anyways. It doesn't matter. Should I just go smatter it up? No, let's just try to, let's just try to get back. Yo, you only live once. Might as well make the most of it. I would have thought there's like a shortcut. Uh, oh, that's the way over there. And is this the one with Ghost Matter? It wasn't, oh, but this is the one with Ghost Matter. I think. Yep, darn it. <laughs> That's probably the worst way to go. I should have just meditated. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, we are uh, uncovering the secrets of the universe. Um, I'm kind of feeling like my instincts have been pretty good as far as like seeing that there was more to discover at the white hole station and not bothering to check because i kind of had guessed that there wasn't that much to do there or it wouldn't be super interesting and then kind of saving the interloper i guess until now i feel like you know that's helpful to know and super sad that the nomai all died probably um but like it it didn't further my goals which it looks like yeah <sighs> All right, so I traced the strange energy readings, determined it was lethal under under pressure. If it were to rupture, it would blanket the solar system almost instantaneously. Um, one stayed behind while the other rushed back to the surface and didn't make it. So the Nomai did not know it was coming. Uh, there's more to explore on the shuttle. Should I go back to the shuttle? Because I think that's on... The Ash Twins anyways. Um, so let's do this. Let's stop by the Ash Twin when it has a lot of the ash on it. Is that Ash Twin good? Nope. Didn't mean to hit C. Oh, come on. Am I autopiloting? I am not autopiloting. There, my autopilot. All right. Why are you still accelerating? <laughs> I guess it, it it knows or thinks it knows at least. Please don't hit it this time. All right, I think we're gonna be okay. All right, and we will fly around to the tallest tower, I think. I think I know what it looks like, so. Uh, it's not that. Now, if any of these go down, I would I would go in it, but I think they all go up. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. So as soon as I see the tops of one of those towers, uh, but the sand's not even going yet, isn't it? Let's just check that this is going up. All right, the sand's not even falling, right? Let's check. All right, I see, the sand hasn't started. The sand hasn't started to transfer yet. So let's, okay. <laughs> Come on, take me to the gravity cannon. Let's just real quick, go check out the shuttle and make sure that oh, I've truly discovered everything I suspect there is to discover. There's also more, wait, what is happening? Why aren't I, oh, I was locked onto the Ember Twin. <laughs> Come on. Matching velocity. Yeah, you probably couldn't tell because because you weren't holding down spacebar the way I was. You didn't have that kind of tactile feedback. <laughs> Anyways, I was holding down spacebar and getting super confused that I was uh, not staying still. All righty, there's more to do. And it didn't say there's more to... Darn it. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I ran out of the booster, I think, is what happened there. Okay, uh, how do I do this? Recall this shuttle like that. What, what does it do? Uh, activate the gravity cannon. Okay, that just launches it. Um, darn it. Darn it. All right, there was more to do here. What was there more to do? 
Investigate this warp thing? Fear a situation may be dire. Yes, yes. Hi, Poke and I landed here. Yes, yes, yes. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to look at Fissure. Pi and my sister. And his sister is Poke. I've been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. Um, why doesn't he have a suit on, though? I guess there are four suits. Did I see the third one? Um, I don't know what happened to Clary. Well, darn it. How do I... How do I discover more? Because it said it was the, um... Hmm. It said there was more to discover at the shuttle. I don't really know what. The bones? Do I have to stare at the bones? Yeah, okay, there's Clary. Sorry, I was talking about where Clary was, but obviously he's right there. Um, the warp thing? Yeah, it's at an angle, so it's really hard to get to. <laughs> but there's nothing to do there. Um, so that takes me back to the thing. That launches me, and then this stops it. Is that maybe what I haven't done? Is it gonna fall back? I don't think so. Oh wait, maybe I look outside at the, whoa, okay, oops. <laughs> well, that's not how to do it. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're... Oh, and then it lands, that's cool. Yeah, is it to look outside at the ice? To find out that it's at the interloper? Hmm, that's gonna bug me that there's more to discover at this shuttle. Um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this gonna take the shuttle? What? How's the sand getting in here? <laughs> I guess it's getting in from the bottom, but... It's... Oh yeah, because it's... Being sucked up. Alright, how do I find... The towers. The sun tower. Alright, there's that thing. And... Oh wait, what is that over there? Ow. Apparently that hurt. Isn't the sand soft or something? <laughs> this is one of the towers. And is this promising? Is this promising? Yeah, this is... Uh... Oh yeah, that's another thing, actually. Um... Uh, one of these is the Ember Twin, and one of these is the Ash Twin. So maybe standing on the uh, Ash Twin one. Oh, there's the sun. I think we're too late. Yeah, we're going to be too late. That's okay. Actually, maybe we're not going to be too late, because it's on the other side, and I'm not sure. No, we're totally too late. Way too late. Not even close to being when I wanted to get here, right? Because I wanted to get here when the sand was, I don't know, here, and then see if I could sneak through I mean I've tried this right I've just tried it let's just die okay we can't die oh and we're losing oxygen ah oh well yeah I've tried that but I don't see how it's helpful I guess if I launched it okay that's something I, ha I haven't tried I haven't launched it into the sun station maybe that's all we have to do that's not the stuff surely Oh, that was right on it, though. All right, so let's just leave that there. And uh, hopefully it'll line up. And um, a pause, a pretty long pause. So I might not know what I'm doing when I come back. And I totally botched up that save and reload. So I died. 
And now I'm back uh, at the, what is it? That sun tower and we made it before the sand falls. So um, should be fun. But there's no way through. There's just no way through. Um, and I'm pretty sure, ah! Pretty sure unless I'm all turned around here, the uh, do, 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 do. the ash is gonna come from this way, which means this is where that door is gonna open up. Of course, I don't want the ash. I don't want the ash to come and suck me up. Oh, hello, interloper. The source of the ghost matter. Okay. I think I think this is good. <laughs> Please don't suck me up, Ash. Ah, oh, no. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I dodge it. I think I dodged it, right? I think I dodged it. There's my ship. Oh no no no. I didn't dodge it. I didn't dodge it. Come on. Come on, baby. All right, good. Ah, bonk. Okay, there's that door. So yeah, this is kind of what I was planning on doing um, just a little bit ago. And possibly, yeah, I was kind of hoping these thorny things would be a little different, like I can go in here now, that's cool. I actually wonder, maybe I'll just do this. I would like to, um, there's not gonna be anything here, is there? Oh, wait, there is, oh my gosh. Yes, I figured it out, I figured it out. I'm letting out all my oxygen bike, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes, no! Ah! Okay, but I figured it out. Ah, yes, we're gonna be able to get around. Aha, my instincts, once again. Once again, my instincts. Hmm. But, as you can tell, by the length of this video, we're gonna do it next time. Oh, I'm so excited. The beginning of my next video is gonna be so happy. Uh, since I botched that song earlier, let me try and figure it out. Uh, it was the tragic no my theme, right? Something like... What chord is that? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I got it on piano. I like know the notes, but for some reason this key on guitar is tripping me up. Okay. Anyways, um, and it so it also what I was noticing it also has something in there that's like right like. Um, which is like the ostinato in the main theme, um, which in the key of C, what's the main theme in the key of C? Um, right? Like that's how the main titles go. You know how it goes. Well, there's Timber Heart theme. Which, I don't listen too much anymore. I always get on my ship and hightail it out of this thing, but it's pretty cool. I should probably learn it on guitar, but best case scenario, it sounds exactly like this song, so I don't really see the point. I could just pretend that I'm playing it. Like they do in bad movies. Uh, not bad. Like they do in movies. <laughs> TV shows. Low budget TV shows, that's the thing. Okay guys, 
See you next time when I go and get aboard the Sun Station. I'm excited. Hope you are excited for my excitement. You know what's going to happen. I have no idea what's going to happen. See you then.